fruits of the rage that is planted, the hate and jealousy that has slipped into our walls to be met. Oh, they grow right. They are coming along by sea. Thank you. In the warm wet And it grows. Be careful what you see. Wuthering Heights is fierce, it's elemental, it's wild and musical and passionate to its core. When I first started to adapt the book, I wrote a collection of poetry. I didn't want it to be domestic, I wanted it to be epic, and I wanted Catherine and Heathcliff to feel like Greek gods, and therefore it felt fantastic that we had a Greek chorus telling the story. So I got rid of Nellie Dean and I gave a lot of her wit and humour to this new character, the Moors. Look, that's Thrushcross Grange. I was also really inspired and moved and angry about what was happening in the Calais jungle at the time and watching politicians argue about how many children we would give safe passage to. And that was when I had the revelation that Heathcliff was an unaccompanied refugee child. He was found at the Liverpool docks. He was speaking a different language. Nobody knew where he came from. What have those young eyes seen, eh? A short lifetime of pain is my guess, and a short lifetime of loss. Well, I'll never know where you've been, but I do know where you're going. You're coming home with me, lad! It's not the teenage Emma Rice that's made this show. It's the adult, angry Emma Rice. And that's at the heart of the chorus. And that's where I wrote, be careful what you seed. They say be careful because everything, everything creates a response. I first read Wuthering Heights when I was a teenager. My mum was a great lover of literature and we'd actually gone on holiday to Yorkshire and she made us walk up to Top Withins, which is what they think Emily Bronte based Wuthering Heights on. So it was already in my DNA, but by that point I was anxious, I was sad. I had a bereavement as, a, as an 11 year old and that had really haunted me. So I think when I read the book, I was really captured by this idea of somebody that you'd lost knocking at the window. I think there's something so emotional about Wuthering Heights. There is romance, there's pure romance really, with young Cathy and Hareton. Cathy and Heathcliff, I mean, they have a bond that is sort of beyond romantic. They understand each other and they feel each other very, very deeply, but that also means that they hurt each other very, very deeply. You have treated me infernally, Catherine. If you think I'll go unrevenged, you are deceived. Revenge? On me? Not on you. Never on you. I want the audience to go home with a renewed sense of empathy. How do we find the life force? How do we keep putting one foot in front of the other? And how do we really fight to find the hope? It's been the most fantastic company and we've found our own hope and we've found our own romance. We've made music together, we've danced together, we've actually made a show together. And it's funny, I feel like I'm reaching through history and holding Emily Bronte's hand and saying, you know, we can still do this and yes, there's rage and yes, there's upset, but there's something to look forward to as well.